All right, we're here with uh, Jody and Jamie, and of course, Mr. Abraham. He's he's over there chilling. He had a rough graduation today. He worked hard. <laughs> well, happy graduation day, guys. Thank you. What kind of a dog is Abraham? Abraham's a British Lab. Okay, and how old is he? Um, he'll be six months this week. Wow, you've already graduated obedience. Pretty yes. good. Yeah. So what did you think of the classes? I thought they were fun, and we were able to learn a lot about the dog and a better way to, I guess, handle him. Okay. Okay. He, it made him more of a family member and okay. less just a dog. He's now part of our family because we bonded with him. Awesome. So why did you even choose training? Labs are pretty cool dogs. Um, we didn't want a big dog running our house, and so now he's very smart. He's a part of us, and so now he knows that we have house rules. And, right. Um, of course, he was easier to teach than we thought, and so. Oh be, come on. Yes. Okay, so tell me about the easier to teach part. That's interesting. What do you mean by that? Well, Kathy taught us. You taught us. <laughs> yeah, I'm Kathy. Hi. <laughs> you taught us um, how to read him better. Okay. And to know that sometimes whenever he doesn't want to do sometimes he's just done and so we, yeah. we learn how to read the dog more than just command the dog very good I'm so happy you said that yeah because it's so critical to understand your puppy and what they want from you what they need from you because mm -hmm. then you find he really wanted to please you right oh all the, oh, time. Yeah. All the time so how did you uh, what did you think of actually training your dog y'all yourself was it hard um, it was pretty easy because it made us spend time with him it made us bond with him and he seemed to really enjoy it. Oh, absolutely. So he loved pleasing us. Like, yes. He, just, he loved it. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And it was fun. Was it really stressful? Not stressful at all. It became, even my husband who came in in the middle of it, he enjoyed it. And it, he became more, um, more of his daddy than just the pet owner. Oh, and that's so wonderful. Really enjoyed it. We all did. I love that. I love yes. that. I love how you, how you really realize that. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's awesome. So, um, how did this compare to other training things that you've done? This was amazing. This was more of a, um, a joy to come. We look forward to it. Even Abraham looked forward to it. Um, other trainings that we've had, it was more stressful and more about pleasing the trainer than learning about our dog. And this was definitely what Kathy cared about. The family, Kathy, you, I keep saying that's that. Okay. That's okay. That's <laughs> she okay. You care about the family more than about you know the dog learning and us performing it was oh, all yeah. about keeping us together as a family and learning what works for our dog i felt like it was more individualized even though we were in a group oh absolutely mm -hmm. yeah it has to be because that, that's, that's my motto is keeping dogs and families together mm -hmm. and you had certain goals but we had other people in the class who they were doing dog rehabilitation they didn't care if the dog ever laid down or stayed right, mm -hmm. right. so how was it being with all the other dogs was it was that difficult yeah. At first, I think we were nervous because he's so young. So when we bring him around people before we started the class, we were nervous that he wouldn't pay attention. But I mean, he barked every now and then. But that's what they do. He started. To, he knows the dogs now. He's kind of friendly towards them. So right. It the, it really wasn't too distracting. No, but it helped with socialization, don't you find? Oh yes. Well, we learned the dog language. Right. That's what so they, critical. Isn't that critical? Do you know barking is okay? Yeah. yeah. Whereas before, I was like, no, I don't want him to bark. Well, this made it, oh, now I understand why you're barking. Yeah. To a degree. To a degree, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And there's one little dog in class. I told the owner, I said, guess what? That's his personality. Mm -hmm. He's going to alert you, and then when, once he's done, he'll settle down. And, and that's, that, I'm so happy you, I'm so happy. God, I'm so proud of you guys. I didn't realize you were learning all that. Yeah. That's wonderful. So is there anything else you want to add that you've learned in class that you want to tell people about or anything? Um, we have, we feel like we have the perfect dog, but we also feel like we had the perfect training for our dog. It just matched. And so now we're, we're just, he's, he's one of us now. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. I love it. And what do you think about the class for the life of your dog? That you can come back for no cost to basic classes. I, it would probably be more for us than him. Okay. Things that we would forget, but um, yeah, I, I think that's amazing. So that we can come back and um, relearn some things that we forget. And you know, if we get frustrated with him, we know that there's an answer. We can always call you, and right? Say or text you and say, "Hey, what's going on?" And right. So many things that you've taught us from even from the first day of class without the animals that changed our dog like that just a few little tweaks that we did amazing well congratulations I'm so proud of you guys and I'm very excited we're gonna try to go do some therapy work with him yeah. and maybe do some 
nursing homes or hospice or some kind of exciting work with him. Yeah. That's very, very awesome. Yeah. So anything else you want to tell anybody? This class was great and it changes your dog. And it, it changes you. Changes you too, yes. Doesn't it? And, Doesn't and it? Honestly, it changed, I think, us and our dynamic and how we handled him a lot more than we changed him. It was more what we were doing wasn't right. 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 But we don't understand that because we're not dogs. Right. And that's why I became a trainer. Y'all heard my story from the, from the very get-go. But it takes a responsible, caring, committed owner mm -hmm. as you mm -hmm. to understand, but most importantly, to really admit that. Right. Yeah. So many people won't do it. They want the dog as a reflection of their ego and they won't admit it. Right. So I, I'm so proud of you guys. That was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> well, it's an honor working with you and, and being a part of your lives. Thank you for being on this journey. And I, I hope to see you again for advanced classes or getting him a therapy dog. It'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you. Girl.